Here is your breaking news Phoenix housing market update for May 22nd, 2020. Hi, I'm John Wayner, team leader of the Wayner Group, brokered by eXp Realty. And I have some good news for you and have some bad news for you, so let's get to it. The bad news, and it's not surprising, is MLS activity is down over 30%. But the good news is we have seen a 40% increase in contracts written over the last four weeks. The trajectory is looking much better than it did six weeks ago. Real quickly, I wanna to talk to you about lead measure versus lag measure. So when you hear a sales report, that is a lag measure. That is ha what's happened after all the buyer activity and demand. And if you look at that, only at the sales, you're getting the news way too late because once you get that news, the condition of the sale, the market today, might be completely different than when that sale closed. So if we actually look at homes under contract, that's the lead measure. That is going to tell us what's gonna happen in the future of where sales will be. So I am giving you the news that is breaking, that is very relevant, and the fact that we had sales down was expected. When you shut the entire economy down, tell people to stay at home, they can't travel, of course we're gonna have less sales. But how long do they last? Well, they are already 40% up over the last four weeks. So as a buyer, it's really important for you to know not where the sales were at, but how many homes are being accepted? How many homes are in escrow in your price range in the market that you're looking at right now? And that's what a good realtor is gonna be able to tell you. So what's happening right now? Under 500,000, we've actually seen no decrease in the list prices and the sale prices of homes going under contract. We've actually seen, seen an increase in the prices if you track it back to where we're at in February. So when COVID hit in March till today, there's actually been an increase of the list price at the time the home goes under contract. Homes over 500,000, we're not seeing that trend. Now the demand is not as high, a lot of stock portfolios got affected, a lot of people aren't traveling here, um, and then there's not any inventory really hitting the market because a lot of sellers in, in the luxury market have decided not to sell. So if you're looking for the home prices to drop and you're looking under 500,000, it just hasn't happened and it's not happening. And not only that, but interest rates have dropped from 4.1% to an average of 3.26%. So on an average home priced at 300,000, your mortgage payment is $143 less today than it was pre-COVID. So if you're waiting for home prices to drop, it's not happening. And on top of it, what has happened is mortgages have gotten a lot more affordable. It is very much making sense to possibly make that home purchase and not wait for the crash that is not happening. Quickly, for you sellers, thinking about selling your home under 500,000 if your home is worth, uh, the market is still very strong. You may not have as many cash buyers willing to buy sight unseen with no repairs but the buyer demand is still very strong. You might have to do some more repairs and you might offer more concessions to buyer closing costs that, so that we have seen that trend rise where sellers are giving buyers money towards their closing costs. Now sellers over 500,000, the only way I can describe it is it, it's just a weird market. We still are selling luxury homes, but the activity for homes priced over 500,000 is just not where it was pre-COVID. And for sellers, no matter what price range you're in, pr pricing right based on your price range location, um, doing repairs or possible upgrades, staging, marketing, that's all going to be more important than it ever was before because you can't just throw a home on the market and it sells with multiple offers in a day. Having a professional realtor, one that just is passionate and has experience, is going to be imperative to being able to sell your home successfully. I hope you found this information valuable. I promise I will continue to deliver these breaking housing market updates. But if you could just do me one big favor, if that would be to like, comment, subscribe, I really, really appreciate it. I promise to deliver more value and I'll catch you on the next one.